Oh no, the maintenance. The most common question. I'm gonna try and efficiently go over the general maintenance cost of this car, and then at the end, I'll quickly go over how much money I've spent in maintenance in the last two and a half years. So we'll start with oil changes. So my first two oil changes, I called several shops in my area, they all wanted $200, and that's what I paid. Do me a favor, don't pay $200 for an oil change, okay? After knowing more people and getting more involved in the community, now there's shops that will do it for $150, and that's what I was getting them done for afterwards. But now I actually just do it myself. You can have the oil and the filter shipped to your house for about $95. So you can save about $50 to $60 in labor by doing it yourself. If you wanna do it yourself, it's really, really simple. I have a video on how to do it in the description below. Next, spark plugs. There's 10 of them, who knew? So I was quoted 500 for parts and labor, $260 in labor and $246 in parts. Uh, $246 for 10 spark plugs. Does that sound right? That sounds really marked up, doesn't it? So I looked on ECS2 and you can get 10 spark plugs shipped for $117. So with that said, you should be able to bring it to a shop. They should be able to put them in for you for about $262, meaning you can get your spark plugs done for under $400. But obviously if you want to do them yourself, well, the spark plugs are $117. While getting the spark plugs done, I went ahead and got the air filters changed. There's two of them. So if you go with the BMW brand air filter, they're about $46 each. And if you go with the man brand filter, they're around 29. Keep in mind, all these parts, there might be cheaper, there might be more, there's off brand, stuff like that. This is just a general cost, just to give you an idea. Transmission service. So this should be done every 50,000 miles or so, even though BMW says it's a lifetime, right? I mean, like the oil change, it should be every 15,000 miles. Yeah, don't listen to that. This should be done every 50,000 miles. This is for the SMG. I was quoted $300. I don't know about the manual, unfortunately I didn't ask about that, but that's just to give you an idea. The diff service, this should be done, same thing, every 40 to 50,000 miles. Uh, two quarts, it's only $126 total uh, with the labor because it's only about a half hour job. Next is brakes. These brakes are a little expensive, so don't be surprised. Keep in mind this is a 200 mile per hour car. These things aren't stopping no Toyota Camry, okay? So, labor, I was quoted $350 front and rear. Generally, you just gotta do the front, but let's just say you gotta do them all front, rear, rotors, pads. This is all gonna be OEM BMW parts. So again, it can be a little cheaper if you go with different brands, different websites, whatnot. $323 for the front rotors each. $282 for the rear rotors each. Uh, and then pads, $230 for the fronts, $132 for the rear. So all total BMW parts you're looking at 1,570 just in brakes, plus that $350 in labor, uh, about 1,920. So almost $2,000 for the entire brakes to be done on the E6 Dam 5. Next is the battery. Those of you that don't know BMW, this might sound a little expensive again. The battery has to be registered to the car. I think it'll like overcharge the electrical components and the alternator and stuff. If it's not registered, I, I think, I don't know the technical stuff, but it has to be registered basically. In a recent pre-purchase inspection I did, or looked at on a other BMW, it was $457 from the dealer, that's the battery and the registration. But you can get a battery from pretty much anywhere, it just depends on how long you want it to last. They range between $130 to $200. If you were to get one of those and you were just take it to a shop and ask them to register it for you, I was quoted about $124 just for the registration. And then like I said, I mean, just say you get a $130 battery, you're looking at basically $260 for the battery there with registration. Brake fluid change. I had this done just to be preventative. This was at one of the shops that kind of overcharged me on the oil changes. This was $150. I'm sure it could be done for a little bit less at a better shop. Power steering fluid, I would expect to be about the same. Uh, I got mine changed when the rod bearings were done, um, but I was told there's no way to actually drain the power steering fluid. You either have to crack a line or suck it out of the reservoir, but just to be safe, I mean, I'd expect it to be maybe around the same. Maybe, I mean, a little less, a little less than 150, I'd say. And now for tires. So the car comes with Michelin Pilot Super Sports, so that's what I looked up. But of course, you can get different brands and different kinds and stuff. But we've got 285 35R19s in the rear. They're going to be about 328 a piece. So you're looking about $656 for the rear. Then in the front, we've got 255 40R19s for about 228 a piece, so about 456 for the fronts, all total $1,112 if you needed all new tires. That's not including mounting and balancing. Obviously that's gonna be the same price as any other wheel and tire. So you can figure $1,200, $1,300 for brand new tires, 
Of course, you can get them used for a lot less. That's usually what I end up doing. So I think that's it. If I missed anything, I do apologize. It's getting kind of late, but let me know and I'd be happy to answer it for you. So I got all these numbers from some shops that have worked on my car. So these are accurate December 2018 numbers and not from some forum dated 2013. So to me, this ma these maintenance prices aren't that bad. I've had BMWs before, so maybe I'm just used to the whole German car thing. But people seem to forget that this car was $90,000, $95,000 brand new. And they don't realize that that price tag sticks with the car for the rest of its life when it comes to maintenance and repairs. So when people get surprised, it's like, well, what do you expect? Uh, single clutch transmission, V10, that right there is the heart of a Lamborghini Gallardo. So, I mean, you kind of got to pay to play with this car. And that should be obvious, but people seem to forget. So as far as my ownership, I've had it for uh, two and a half years. I bought it with 89,000 miles. Now it's got over 121,000 miles, so 31,000 miles about. Uh, and in that time period, I've had to do six oil changes for a total of $890. That's including the $200 shops, the $150 shops, and then when I did it myself, obviously it would be a lot less had I just done it myself from the get-go. Uh, $150 for the brake fluid change, $580 for the spark plugs and air filters. That was at the shop where I let them buy the spark plugs. I could have done it for less had I supplied them my own. That kind of ripped off there. Tires, unfortunately, I've lost track. I seem to get nails and punctures all the time that can't be fixed. So I buy a lot of used tires on Craigslist. Uh, we'll just say about $1,600 for tires. And then, my gosh, the bearings. If I don't mention the bearings, someone's going to complain and say, you missed the biggest maintenance item. Uh, so most shops charge $2,500. I got it done through a friend for a little less. But yes, the bearings were replaced. I wouldn't consider that routine maintenance, but sure. So all total, without the bearings, including the tires and oil changes and stuff, $3,200 in the last 31,000 miles. And if you want to include the bearings, about $5,400. Keep in mind, I bought this car. The SMG pump was already replaced. The clutch was replaced. So I haven't had to do, I haven't had to service the transmission. Uh, the battery I haven't had to do, I haven't had to do the brakes and all that stuff. So all that stuff's coming up and I'm ready for it. Uh, but that's why this might seem kind of cheap. Or, you know, if you guys are wondering, well, why, what about the brakes and stuff? It's like, well, I haven't had to do it yet. So that's it. Worth every penny so far. I love this car. And uh, any questions, let me know and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.